Welcome everyone, in this video we're going to see how to send emails using Selenium. So for today we're going to be using Jupyter Notebook and let's just start by just making sure that you have Selenium installed on your computer. So if you haven't, uh, what you can just do is go quickly to your command prompt. In this case I'm using the Anaconda environment so I'm just going to use the Anaconda prompt and then you're going to type pip space install and then Selenium. Great. And in my case, I already installed it, but in yours, it will take just a couple of minutes and you'll be ready to go. Once you have that, um, we're gonna start by defining which web browser you wanna use for our project. I would prefer to use Microsoft Edge, but if you wanna use Google Chrome, you can always use it. So let's start by uh, understanding how we're gonna download a driver for the project. So if you go to this link that I'll put in the description, uh, you'll be able to download the driver for Microsoft Edge. Uh, here down the bottom, uh, you just gotta choose the version you have. And you can know that by just basically going to uh, the settings and then go to about Microsoft Edge and you'll see the version number here. Great, so you got that. Uh, Pick the system that you want if you're using iOS, Windows, or Linux. I'm going to download for Windows. And then you just gotta download the file and uncompress it. So once you downloaded it, you're going to get into the file and you're going to see that the driver is just over here. Then you just got to cut this driver and we're going to put it in a file where it won't be deleted easily. So I just recommend you to go here, uh, Program Files, and then just Control V paste it there, just click accept, and then we're ready to go. So the, the process will be the same for Google Chrome. Uh, you just have to go to this link, you'll be able to download uh, the Google Chrome version that you need. So you just click say this one, and then you just uh, choose if you want it for iOS, Linux, or Windows. Great, so once you have that, you will be pretty good to go. From Selenium, import, web driver and uh, we need to create the path to the file that we just downloaded i just saved that driver from uh, microsoft edge on the program files x80 uh, x86 so that will be and don't forget to put the name of the file great and then we're gonna create a driver so the driver would be equal to web driver dot and here we just get our type the browser you want to use. So I'm going to use Edge, so I'll just put Edge with capital E and then in parentheses I'm going to give it the path. If you were to use Chrome, uh, what would you do instead is pretty much just change this Edge to Chrome. But of course you need to make sure that the path uh, for the driver is correct. But we're going to use Edge today. Awesome. Now after that we're going to uh, give a URL. So the URL will be the one that we need. In this case, I'm going to use Gmail. So I'm just going to copy and paste it over here. It's going to be a bit long, but it should work. And then I'm going to access the URL driver, which is the variable we just created, dot get. And then we just give it the URL. And you'll see that once we run this code, it's going to open a new tab on the browser with the link. So pretty easy, we just access and Gmail. Now let's move on to how to input an email and how to input the password so that we can get into the account. So for that, and here's where things get interesting because we have to understand a little bit about HTML. It's not, it's not going to be a very difficult thing, but it's going to be quite simple. First thing we need to just go to the URL that we're using. We're going to right click and we're going to click inspect. Then we know that over here we need to input the email address that we want to access. So I'm just going to click over on this side and then just click that one and you will see that this bit of code is highlighted. So you just got to make sure that you pick in the right one and not the containers or the or, or divs that are over here because in, in that way it wouldn't work. So we just got to make sure in this case it says input. So I'm just going to make sure that I got that code. Right click, copy and copy XPath. Great, so we got that on the clipboard. We're gonna come back to our file and then we're gonna access that path. So we're gonna create a new variable. It's gonna be email um, account. It's gonna be equal to driver 
we're gonna find element by xpath and then in parentheses paste that x file this is gonna be your email guys i just made a dummy one and then we're just gonna write email account uh, sent keys and the keys we want to send is email right awesome so once you get that uh, we're just gonna run the code and you'll see that in that window what we're seeing is that the code it's putting on the email that we just passed great but we need to make sure that we can press this next button so that we can move on and, and give the password for this email so same thing just click right, right click inspect but in this case we're gonna select this uh, button over here you'll see that it's within this yeah no it's actually this one that says button right click on that one copy copy xpath done and then in this case what we want to do is that we want to be able to click that so we're going to see click from that you'll see that it opens the window once on you and that it's going to take you to gmail it puts the email and then you say next All right so now you get a new tab and we will have to in in input the password so same process guys we're just going to go inspect is yeah it's this one here so just right click copy Copy XPath. And then what we've got to do is yeah, give it another uh, key, right? So we're going to say password input. Um, and then in this case, guys, you got to put the password of your email. Between this process and being able to input here, it takes a couple of seconds. So we need to wait for the browser to load before trying to access this element. So what we're gonna do in between is we're gonna put a wait time. So we wait for the code to be accessible and we're gonna say, okay, driver implicitly wait. The higher the value, the longer it waits before it gets to an error. And then we need to make sure that we'll be able to click this next button. So we're just going to inspect that one and you will see that it's sort of like in between this class, but it's actually this button over here. So we're just going to right click, we're going to say copy, copy XPath. And if everything works by now, guys, you should be able to access the email by itself. So now you guys be, will be able to open the Gmail. And then, uh, as you can see, it takes a while to load. So before starting to write more code, we need to write some code that it waits for every or for all the page to load so that we can interact with the things that are within it. Wait, load time. Cool. So we're just going to put something similar to it, like driver implicit wait, but we're going to take it like up to, I don't know, 50. Because sometimes it takes a while, especially it depends and it varies a lot based on your internet connection. So we're just going to wait, but now we want to create an email, right? So if we come back here, you'll see that once we want to create an email, we just go to this compose. Uh, so it's not a bottom on HTML, but it sort of works like that. So we just got to go there and then we have to select that element so that we can create a new email so in this case what i found is that it is easier to copy the x full path so that's gonna click this so once you click that you will see that it will open a new window over here and we want to input our destination email just here. So we're just gonna click on this element as well. And you will see that this is a text area, right? This text area is the one we want. We don't want the input. So we're just gonna right click, copy, XPath. Um, cool. And we're gonna say two is equal to try that. Same thing guys, find element by XPath. And in this case, we're going to write down here the destination email that we want. So I'm just going to say that I'm going to send an email to myself.
Great, so that's gonna be destination email. Then we wanna uh, go back here and see what else do we need. Okay, we need a subject, so we're gonna, for the subject, it's gonna be the same process, guys. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this bit. We just gotta come back to here, find this element, okay. Okay, so it says that in this case, this is an input. So we're just gonna right copy that one and then you just gotta change the X pass over here. Cool, okay, that's looking sort of like good. Cool, so as you can see here, what, what, what I recommend you guys is that this path tend to change. So always check with your browser and make sure that they're working. Great, so that should be working now. So once I run that code, should be able to open a new window, new tab, get into the email, get it the password, just wait for it to load. And then it will be able to, so as you can see here, it, it, it does it by itself. I'm not clicking anything. It's just the code is interacting with the web browser. Awesome, and it's sent. So that's it guys, as you can see here, the message is sent, all done. And great, so every time you run this code, it's gonna access the email that you give it, it's gonna and send this email. So that has been all for today. There might be, there's a lot of applications for this you can, automate a process on your company the, the applications are limitless so that's it guys i hope you have enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time all the links will be on the description so you can download the files that you need just make sure that the paths are correct because that's the main reason why it didn't work for me a couple of times so anyway 